Hello, uh, this is just a quick little video. Uh, this is a Durable King with uh, Samson Community College, and I'm um, uh, messing around with uh, some software I just downloaded recently. The Connected Components Workbench Standard Edition to interface a uh, laptop with uh, VFDs, PowerFlex, uh, different PowerFlex uh, drives, the PowerFlex 4, the 525s, the 70s, and so on. And uh, this is a screen here where I've got connected with the PowerFlex 4. And what I'm using is a new interface cable I got here. It's a USB. It's a 1203 USB-B by Alan Bradley. And what it does is it'll interface your serial DSI connection right here. It looks like, a, it's like an RSI. It's an RJ45 connector like Ethernet, but it's but it's a serial connector using like a RJ45 connector. So it snaps in here like Ethernet, but it's not Ethernet, it's actually serial DSI. Uh, it's a Data Highway 485 connection. And that cable uh, goes into this interface box here, the 1203 USB box, into this uh, end, comes out of here with a standard USB type B cable, and it goes over here to the laptop with a USB-A connection. So to go into, in, into regular USB. And um, I've set up, I've got it set up so that I can run the drive from, from a start, stop, jog, and reverse and all, and also control frequency off of this page on uh, Connected Components Workbench. And in, in order for, uh, for, for that to be able to control the drive remotely, you gotta come over here to, to your parameters on the PowerFlex 4 and go in there for start source, parameter 36, and you gotta put in there an uh, option of five for COM port. And then it'll allow the remote software to, to actually start the drive like a start button from the laptop. And then for speed reference, if you wanna change the frequency from the laptop remotely on the fly, you go to parameter 38, then you put an a, a option of five in there for COM port. So those in the red there, I had to put those in there instead of doing three wire start directly from from the start and stop button instead of doing three wire control here i'm doing it from the laptop just to show you how that can be done and then the, the speed reference instead of it being a zero to ten volt input off of your speed pot here you know that you have your remote speed pot that will be your zero to ten volt dc input to the drive we're going to do it from the laptop so those are your two parameters you have to change there. And um, so we're gonna, you see right now that the drive is sitting at zero hertz, and so it's not running. And the motor, motor sitting still. And so when I hit start here, you begin to see it's speeding up. And the frequency is going up. So I was able to run run that drive remotely from the laptop. It's at 60 hertz right now. And I didn't have to hit the, the, uh, the regular buttons. The motor is running. And now if I hit uh, stop, you see it's ramping now. And I, I didn't hit the regular button on, uh, out here on the panel. I just did it from the laptop. So it, it did ramp down. So it's listening, it's listening to the laptop control panel instead of the physical one over here. Um, but you have to use an option called uh, control bar. Control bar, you use that and it, and, it, and it allows you, gives you a warning telling you when you do this, um, you have you know risk involved. And also it'll do forward and reverse and so I can let it run well, right now it's in it's in um, it's in forward right now, but if I hit the forward reverse button here, then let's see what it did over here. It actually did switch it into reverse. If you look on the drive there, so it's in reverse now, it, and I just did that from the laptop. Didn't have to do it there on the drive. So it lets you jog test the motor. It lets you jog test the drive remotely. Start. 
and it, it's ramping up and it's, and it's running in reverse. As you can see, the LED on the bottom left, it says REV for reverse. And it went on ahead and ramped up. Okay, so that's a short little video there. But I've been messing around with this afternoon, getting familiar to, to let y'all um, get familiar with the software on the class coming up. And we're going to actually, let's go ahead and run it again. And here, the slide bar for frequency, right now it's on 60 hertz, but if I drag that, I'm dragging it back to say 30 hertz. And now it's actually, it's ramping back to 30 now. 29, it's on 29 hertz right now. I just bumped it up to 30. So you, you can fine tune it exactly from the laptop. So if you want to mess around with it remotely that way, it can be done using control bar and connected components workbench software. When you set these parameters up for COM port, start, source, and speed reference. So anyway, that's it for now. And I'll be getting more stuff uh, lined up for y'all to do with uh, Ethernet and um, and all. So anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, y'all have have a great weekend. Have a blessed weekend. Durable King with Santa's Community College.